Good morning and welcome to The Buzz. My name is Jeter and I will be your host this morning. Please join me for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our student-friendly mission statement. At RGS, we are learners today and leaders tomorrow. Today is Friday, February 18th, and we are on a day one rotation again today. For lunch today, we will be having pizza and salad. We want to wish a Hornet happy birthday to Twan Hughes and Luke Johnston. Have a great birthday, boys. February is Black History Month, and here is today's Black History Feature. Michael Jordan is one of the seven greatest players ever. In chronological order, Russell, Wilt, Oscar, Kareem, Larry, Magic, and then Michael. And there's not been one to join that list since Michael. That's how high the bar has been set. Michael Jordan was born on February 17, 1963 in Brooklyn, New York, but grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina, and was a natural athlete from a young age. Jordan earned a basketball scholarship to play for Dean Smith at the University of North Carolina, and he had an immediate impact in 1982, hitting the game-winning shot in the national championship game for the Tar Heels against Georgetown. In his junior year, Jordan decided to leave college to enter the NBA draft and joined the Chicago Bulls in 1984. During the same year, he also won a gold medal as part of the U.S. basketball team at the Los Angeles Olympic Games. When Michael Jordan joined the Bulls as a rookie, they weren't a very good team, but he changed that. Playing with Michael Jordan on the Bulls, he was Elvis Presley, and then we were the Beatles. It was a traveling, unbelievable, well-organized circus that everybody wanted to see. Jordan won his second Olympic gold medal as part of U.S. basketball's dream team in 1992. The next year, Jordan's father was tragically murdered and Michael Jordan shocked everyone by retiring from basketball. Instead, Jordan tried his hand at professional baseball and played for the minor league Birmingham Barons. This lasted a year before he returned to the court to play for the Chicago Bulls. Wasn't flashy except on court. He didn't try to make you look bad, he worked hard. I think he's the greatest player in the 90s. From 91 to 98, it was MJ. It was eight years, no one, no one can touch him. That stretch was unbelievable. Six championships in eight years is amazing. Michael Jordan was ranked as the world's highest paid athlete in 1997. This was in addition to his many endorsement deals and his acting in Hollywood films like Space Jam. Michael Jordan's greatest assets are his brain and his heart. That's where championships are won, right here. Are you smart enough and does it matter to you? Michael Jordan retired again in 1999 and became part owner of, and then in 2001, player for, the Washington Wizards. Jordan retired for good in 2003 and in 2009 was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, the sport's highest honor. In addition to his many business ventures and golfing, Jordan is involved with many charities, including hosting his annual golf event. He has three children from his first marriage and recently remarried in 2013. Everything that Michael Jordan has done in his life has taken the game and the business of sports to evolutionary planes that have never been met by anyone else. He personifies what it means to be the most remarkable of champions. Now it's time for the joke of the day. How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? I don't know. How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? He was shocked. Thanks, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.